Yeah, I do, I do. Okay. I do. We got these from Raw Generation. You need a squat if you want to be in the front. Raw Generation, baby. Turmeric, turmeric and ginger immunity shot. These are actually really good because they have apple juice in them. So they don't even taste bad. They're actually Cheers. really good. Cheers. Yeah, it's got turmeric and ginger in it, but it's number one ingredient. Ooh, mine was spicy today. Apple juice. For some reason. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I am here to show you my favorite nutritional shake. It is Orgain. Yep, we have all the the drinks today. Would you like some? Whoa, whoa. I feel like that does not taste good with what Would you we like just some? had. No. <laughs> does it taste good with what we just had? Mm -mm. <laughs> okay. That's that's called wild energy. Chaos. It's called wild man. I'm a wild man. We are gonna go hide our backyard that we don't deserve. We got backyard issues. We just have issues. It's really only like a side yard. Yeah, it's so small. How big is our backyard? Uh, 100 square foot. No, maybe maybe 150, 10. Mm. No, probably about 200. Yeah. Anyways, it's really small, square foot. and we don't deserve it because We're our our people. maintenance game is weak. We don't deserve Z this. Zero maintenance. We need to be putting time up. I tried to sweep it like once a month. And I tried to sweep it once, but that's what you were going to say. You tried to sweep it once. Yeah, I have tried to and sweep it up. once. But I did You it. gave up after that. I didn't know I gave up. I did it. Did you? She assisted. She's actually really good at trimming the Oh yeah, I like to trim the vine. And I got new clippers. Maybe you want to do But a like our clips. couch cushion has mold all over it. Okay, I don't know if we want to call it mold. It yet. is mold. It's actually mold. What are you going to call it? It's little it's black, black spots. Spots, yeah. Okay. I blend into the cabinets. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look that pale in real life. Why? Why is it like this? I swear I'm not as pale as it shows on camera. Your hair, your fried hair, doesn't help. Doesn't really help. You need to put some little tanning drops in your lotion. I do that sometimes. You need to do it this Sometimes time. it doesn't show any effects. Really? Yeah. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. That's so sad for you. It's really weird. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go clean the backyard, show you guys our terrible misfortunes. What are you even saying? More importantly. I'm a good talker. I'm really good at talking. <laughs> I've already begun sweeping piles. Oh, well, that's nice. But I also need to pick all of our leaves that have fallen off our beautiful lemon tree. Is that just like a one by one? <clears throat> yeah, I just put on little gloves. And you put a pack of them up. I'm scared there might be spiders. Ask them about our lemon tree. Oh yeah, does anyone know if our lemon tree is okay? It's turning yellow. The leaves back in here are, feel them, what do they feel I mean, like? It's winter. So they I'm don't feel dry, but hoping, they don't feel really damp either though. it's just winter. Oh, we're finally getting some lemons though. These have been growing for yellow like Yellow lemons, look there's a yellow one back there. Three months. Yeah, but I don't know if the leaves are okay. So I've already swept up a little bit. Amazing, love you. I want to grab those leaves, but I'm scared there's going to be like a gonna... spider that might jump out and freaking attack me. And this is this is the mold that I referenced. That's for sure mold. Oh, that's freaky. Yeah. Okay, but we're gonna clean up. expose ourselves in our dirty backyard. I'm gonna tell you guys about a shopping app that I recently discovered that's super cool. I'm gonna take these glasses off because I think the glare is too much. I recently discovered this live streaming shopping app. It's called Shop Shops, and I think that it's perfect for all of your holiday shopping that you're probably getting into, but also just for 2020, since we're mostly at home now. This 
is a perfect app for that because it's basically a user experience that feels like you're in the store or out actually doing the shopping when you're not so since it's live streaming it connects the shopper and the brand in a really unique way and I know you guys love when I bring you along for like a shop with me whether it's in the grocery store or thrifting or at a clothing store and it's basically the same idea on this app you can tune into the live events which are shopping in store doing try on hauls all kinds of things and they also have so many good brands on there so like new face which is the anti-aging system with electromagnetic currents which is super cool Laura Mercier super good makeup Ghani really good pieces from there Oak and Fort as well they have so many good brands and it's a really cool way to connect with brands all over the globe because it's a global app but you're obviously just in the comfort of your own home the whole time which is honestly ideal I love that and they're also going to be hosting a holiday event called She's Live and what they're gonna do is be focusing on female owned and led shops and boutiques and these events are going to bring awareness and visibility and also drive sales to these female owned and led businesses which is so cool I know we all love supporting women so I love that they're taking this initiative and from November 28th to December 20th they're going to have live events every weekend and one of them is even going to be hosted by Rebecca Minkoff herself probably from her own closet which is so cool and she'll be giving some exclusive information on on a new product line so really cool stuff is on this app I know you guys are going to enjoy it and I wanted to share it because I know how much you love when I bring you along on a shopping experience so it's basically the same thing I have a discount code for you that you can use when you're shopping for your gifts or yourself and enjoy okay it's uh, that time of the week grocery shopping time and we are going to go to Whole Foods this week we don't come here that often to go. Going to go to Ho Feeds. Mm. Oh, my list is. Maybe I never even brought it. I saw it somewhere. I'm gonna look in the back. Did you take a picture of it? Yeah, I have a picture of it. Got a picture of the list. That's freaking sketchy. Yeah, but we're gonna go to Whole Foods. We're gonna go to Whole Foods and we don't come here that often, so we're gonna explore and see what kind of vegan specialties they have here because I feel like it's better than other stores yeah. and we also just went to well I didn't you just went to Nespresso yeah I'm not gonna and tell her how many how many sleeves like I bought really stop don't look don't big bag don't look the girl Robin Robin told me to get that many Robin told me Robin doesn't have to wake up next to your I breath. told her I told her my girlfriend's gonna be pissed and what'd she say and I said I'm telling you 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 told me to do this Robin and what'd she say she left she, <laughs> she said I'm gonna hide tomorrow. if she comes tomorrow are you is this all for real yeah literally we were joking around we were having fun are you flirting with robin yeah i was flirting with robin wow i bought x number and i got one free free bad breath yeah i love that for me i don't have to pay anything for your breath to make me pass out it's great i'm just kidding it's not that Aww. bad but it's pretty bad glad you enjoy it i'm glad i love it too okay stinky ass breath pods, breath pods. it's like the opposite of a mint here look at these anti-mints Okay. Anti breath pod. But for real, we'll, we're going to do a, a haul when we get back home of yeah. all the good things we got. Let's so. go see what's up tonight. We better get in there. Whole Foods has brought out the Christmas decor already. I guess everywhere probably has by now. But I've never seen a gr uh, grocery store really go hard like this. It's pretty cool. Oh, Garlic parm. Oh. No, 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 no. That seems great. Ooh. We never had this. Look oh, at that, spreadable. That's nice. Nice. Okay, let's try that. Our favorite cookie dough. Nine minute cookie doughs, if you know, you yeah, know. This was. This is good cheese, right? Yeah, uh, that's that. a camera had in. Uh, in Yup. Should we try flax milk? I've heard positive things. Yeah. Positive things about the flax milk. Yeah. It looks like, is that the same brand? Yeah. Changed their branding? A little bit. Is it the same brand? I think so. I mean, the other one was made in Italy. Oh, as yeah, well, good so. and green. It was good and green. Went with a rebrand. Should we grab that Oatly? But oh, we got what is flax. It? Epic mature. Epic and mature, dude. Epic mature cheddar flavor block. Kind okay. of intrigued. Kind of 
kind of matured about it. I'm kind of mature. Caught her red handed. <laughs> What'd you get? This stuff, the uh, coconut, it's like. Coconut. Cocoa whip. It's like. Um, it's like a. Uh, cool whip. Cool whip, yeah. We just put it on the fruit and stuff, it'll be good. Oh, we love that. Oh, we haven't had that in a minute. Get that. Get the Himalayan sweetness all day. Damn, all day. Truffle one. I gotta try this truffle one. Our door That's handle broke. Loud. Big time haul right here. The quick set, double anchor, black, matte black, square sheet. The other day, he opened the door and the handle just came off. <laughs> he just flew off. It's not chill. Okay, we got some things at Whole Foods that we're excited to try, some things we've never had before. Okay. First thing we got, first thing I'm gonna show you, Beyond Meatballs. Yeah. So we obviously really like Beyond Breakfast Sausage and, and their Links. Links. Or like, is that what they're called? Yeah. Just sausage. So we wanted to try the meatballs. Got those in the frozen section. Excited. I haven't seen them before. And then we also got these vegan deli meats. So these we had once from Erwan. Is that how you say it? Yeah, yeah Erwan. Erwan, the fancy store yeah. in LA. Who knows? They're not fancy enough. We don't know. But these are made in Italy and they're plant-based deli. They're actually really good. We like to like fry them up in a little bit of olive oil and put them on like a baguette or with so a good. cheese board or something. Also, I know people are already gonna be angry that there's plastic in this haul, but Eating plant-based is one of the most impactful things you can do for the environment. So we eat plant-based. A lot of the things that we eat come in plastic. So we try to recycle all that and it's unfortunate, but we are doing something else that makes a huge impact. This is a side effect of that, so sorry. Okay, there's this babe. And then Violife is a vegan cheese brand that's actually really good vegan cheese. That's like a category that is a lot is hard for a lot of people to kind of break into. They feel like vegan cheese is gross or weird. This brand is good. I think most people agree with that. We have not had this flavor. It's epic mature, you know? So super mature. Not gonna be petty, not gonna start drama, not gonna troll <laughs> me. It's just freaking mature. I love that. Okay, sometimes I'm immature and well, I like to laugh. It's stupid well, stuff. Well, epic mature. Clayton picked this up. Oh yeah, Hunt Daddy's been. Is. Hunt Daddy's been promoting that. Hunter it's, recommendation. It's good, so. All right, are you putting, I'm giving you stuff, but you're not even putting it away. I'm going to. Okay, and then one of you requested, not requested, I always say that, recommended is the word, the Gardein fish fillets. So these are vegan. We've always been scared to try these, so we never have, but you guys said that they're really good. I'm still scared. Especially with homemade tartar sauce, because I've been on a fresh dill kick, so I picked these up. In your honor. Keep you posted with how it is. And then went on a little mac and cheese binge there because they have really good mac and cheese that we can't get at other stores. This brand, Possibilities. So good. Plant based mac and cheese, and it's Number one. delicious. Comes in character shapes, which was my favorite thing growing up character mac and cheese. And it's just like, I don't know. It just tastes exactly like craft mac and cheese to me, which is. Fantastic. And then we also picked up this Bonza plant-based mac and cheese with chickpea pasta. So the pasta has protein in it. This is a different vibe than that. It's a little more like rustic and elevated, but it's also really, really good. We like this. It's probably healthier than that. Must try. The nine minute cookies, because we always need these in our household. Vegan and gluten-free, by the way. And then the Cocoa Whip. This is like vegan coconut Cool Whip. Really good on fruit, pretty much, or like yogurt, yeah. ice cream, pie. And then we picked up some flax milk because Clayton said he's heard good things about flax milk. This one has cute branding. I'm assuming that's why you picked this. Did the branding get you? That was actually the only flax milk I saw. Oh, really? I saw another one. It was ugly. This one is cute. It's a uh, brand. Is it called Malibu Milk? What the f is this thing not fit? Let me see. And then we got spreadable Miyoko's butter. We always get the sticks, but it's kind of inconvenient. So we wanted a tub, which they recently created, I think. This is again the BioLife. This is the Colby Jack Shreds. Really, really good. Like a good, easy snack is to put some of this on a Triscuit and just eat it like that. Delish. Lesser Evil Popcorn. Is such a good snack. 
Himalayan sweetness is kind of sweet and salty. It's like kettle corn a little bit. And then the vegan no cheese cheddar is also really good. So snacks are on deck. And then, oh, this is called Pipcorn. That's cute. The crunchy and mini Pipcorn. Oh, they made all the pieces small. Oh, we're into that. And it has truffles, so I had to have that. It's certified vegan and gluten free. Well, you know how this goes. Pipcorn is a really cute word. I'm a pipcorn and you're a popcorn. I'm a popcorn? Yeah, because you're bigger. I'm small. I'm a popcorn. Like pip squeak. And then they have a really good, like, fun pasta aisle in Whole Foods. We have a passion for fun pasta in our house. Fun pasta is just basically cool shaped texture pasta. And lately on social media, people yell at me when I say noodle instead of pasta. So I don't know what's up with that. I cannot imagine caring whether someone said noodle or pasta, but there's people out there that do. So if you're one of them, I can't relate to you. And if you're not one of them, I'm letting you know that they're out there. Okay. This pasta I got because I had noodles like this when I, or pasta, whatever, when I was younger one time and I always remember them. I thought they were so special. So they're like skinny, long, this is like a spaghetti noodle, but just twirled basically. It looks like they're a bunch of lasagna noodles side by side, but they're not. They're just single skinny curly noodles and I was just going to put some butter and salt on them. And then we're making stroganoff this week. So I got this shape of fun pasta, which is absolutely delicious. I don't know what it's called. I can't tell, but we love. And then we picked up some bitchin' sauce in Bombay flavor. This is so good on raw veggies, crackers, toast, chips, rice, cooked veggies, tofu, literally anything. And it is made from, I think it's made from almonds, right? Claire? Yeah. Yeah, it's made from almonds. So don't need any very large almonds. And I think that's everything we got. So we found some good pieces, some good snacks, good lunches, and then just some like random things to have. So probably later in the week, I'll keep you updated if anything was crazy good or crazy bad on the blog. And let us know if you want us to do Another kind of grocery haul ever, whatever. Sorry. Do you have any input? Oh. I'm down here. Being a handyman. Handy, handyman Bob. Here to fix the door. Good. Why were you yelling so much? I just, you know, I like to rush through things. But at first, did it not work? No, it just wasn't working because I wasn't. Fall, You're the problem, not fall, yeah, the doorknob. Following the direction. You're the doorknob. I am a doorknob. <laughs> I don't know, when I when, when that there's projects, I like to just be like, all right, I'm just gonna freaking jam it in there, figure it out, make it Throw happen. Throw a couple F-bombs. Throw some F-bombs and then it's gonna, and then it's gonna work. It will do what I it want. It never I works for me Word of until advice. I just calm the heck down. Wow, would you imagine that? But I don't like being calm. That is just crazy, kid. Yeah, all foods is solid though. I wanna organize the fridge. Like we need to get um, more stuff at the container store because organizing the fridge is like, I mean, organizing the pantry was so satisfying. Yeah, the pantry was really nice. I don't know how much everybody's been loving the e-bike and Delaney and I's little adventures. I actually just got a bunch of new parts for the bike in, in the mail. I got Delaney a back seat, I got a front basket, I got a front headlight, and I got a rear tail light, so we're extra safe. Our helmets are coming in the mail. I know a lot of you guys are telling us to wear helmets, so don't worry, we will be being extra safe once those get here. All right, so what I got here is a front basket, a rear tail light, a new back seat. We used to just be work using a workout pad. Uh, yeah, this is like a little rear handlebar. I don't know if I'm gonna use that. And then these are little like foot pegs. And then right now, I've already started working on my new uh, headlight. This will go up here, like this. It'll go up here on the front, like this. What I'm doing right now is I have to feed the cord through the frame all the way down to here. So it's like trying to fish a piece of spaghetti down a pipe that bends. So I'm in the process of doing that right now. Kind of a pain. I think I almost have it. I think I see it. I'm going like a little doctor here. 
Let's go. Come to daddy. Got it. Let's go. Alrighty. Got the headlight on there, I just need to tighten it up. Now I got the wires down to here. I need to pop open the little motor housing and get it wired up. Okay, I got a little mess on my hands here and a little electrical issue. I need to go get a male to female adapter so I can plug in my tail light and front light. But I do have the basket on the front now, so now we can carry around packages or if we run to the store or whatever, instead of me carrying them in my hands, I can put it in our basket. And then here is the new rear seat. Perfect. <laughs> it's, it's such a little, little seat, but it's got a little backrest, so that's super nice. If I need to, I can still use this as area to secure packages as well with these bungee cords. But yeah, it is coming together. A lot of components now, but it's gonna be really nice to have a front light and a rear light, extra safety. Okay, so for today's lunch, we had the pasta, or we're having, sorry, we're having the Possibilities vegan mac and cheese. Super good, super easy to make. Literally probably only took me 10 minutes. We also added peas in there too for a little extra protein. And then I used everybody's favorite pan, the world's favorite pan, right? I think so. It's the world's favorite pan. And we had, this is the prosciutto. Good and green. Little deli slices. So we're gonna have those on the side. Yum, yum, yummers. Yum, yum, yummers. <laughs> well, off pepper toe. Well, pepper. Okay, I just got back from the P.O. box. Picking up some packages. Wanted to give you guys a little update on the bike. And also show you guys how many packages I can fit on the back of my bike with all the little gear here. All right, so on the back of my bike, I can carry, I don't know, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packages. And I can also carry them in my hands so I can get up and down the P.O. box super easily. So the other night I was installing the brake light and the headlight, but I had to take both off because they both did not work properly after I tried wiring them in. That turned into an issue. Also, the front basket broke within a day. And what else did I have? The new seat. Yes, there was the seat here, that's right. I had to take that off because it just wasn't that comfortable. So I ordered a couple new headlights, or a new headlight and a new tail light. I'm gonna put those on there and then I still need to order a basket, but I had terrible luck with my first round of products there so uh, hopefully these next ones go a lot better all right sorry cut the headlight boom boom ba, boom everybody's gonna be seeing us now so that's safe that's really good let's see and i'll show you guys the tail light tail light's pretty cool that's for nighttime that's full coverage we are going to be seen give you guys a little closer look at the headlight and tail light going fast let's go and for Delaney's seat, we're just using a uh, workout pad. It works way better. That other seat was not very comfortable. So we just put this workout pad over the top. And this is like a little bungee cord system that came with it. So keeps it nice and secure and way more comfortable actually than the one we bought. All right, I just changed because my outfit was horrocious. I don't know how to, I don't know how to dress properly yet. But we did get helmets too. We are extra, extra safe. Nowadays, tail lights, headlights, and helmets. And now we're gonna go play some pickleball. Yup, so now we got the helmets, dude. Super, super safe. Where's she at? Here she is. So everybody, Delaney and her helmet. Because this is the cutest thing ever. <laughs> You're cute for saying that. Do you think it will work with my ponytail on top? You can just kind of put it on there for now. There you go. How's that feel? It fits? Safety first, kids. Are you gonna go play some pickleball? Yep. I think we can win. With our new paddles? We are officially pickle I'm professionals. We have our own pickle paddles. A terrible record. A terrible record. <laughs> oh for a hundred. Look at this sweet design. Oh for never. <laughs> Right. Let's go let Drew kick her ass on pickleball. Yeah, the other night Drew came over after kicking her ass in pickleball for He's such a nice ten guy games in a row. Really said, "Hey, by the way, I'm so sorry I had to kick your ass." And he was dead serious. He said, "So sorry for kicking your ass." We just finished a workout. Why am I always vlogging, walking down the stairs? Careful. <laughs> Have to look down because wearing socks. 
slip, full slip? Yeah, I fall down the stairs because our stairs are wooden and slippery. And I'm wearing socks. And since I just They're worked out, steep stairs too. my legs are like shaky. For sure could fall down the stairs. All right. See you in a little bit? Yep. I love you. I love you. Do I see? I will. Okay. I look like a little wet, wet rat too. <laughs> Okay. okay. Tonight I'm making ratatouille. The way I say that to a French person is probably like nails on a chalkboard. And I haven't accepted this about myself. But anyways, I'm gonna make ratatouille and it involves so much chopping. We are gonna get to chopping. So it's basically the most labor of this dish. Also, I'm sorry if again, I'm not only butchering the word ratatouille, but also the actual recipe to anyone who has like a fancy old school homemade authentic version of it or something. I'm just a little little girl finding her way in the world, you know? So we just finished our workout. Two potatoes down, two to go. Now I feel somewhat ready to start chopping. Ready as I'll ever be. I'm hyped right now. Clayton's not home to deal with my hyper ass. Need a knife? Where's the knife, y'all? Where the heck is the knife? Oh my god, that was a chill. That was a chill. Look at all these beautiful vegetables we got here. Potatoes, zucchini, yellow squash, bell pepper, and eggplant is what I'll be using tonight. And then I just preheated the oven to 425. I have this little baking sheet. And I'm going to start my chopping. I'm honestly concerned about this. This um, eggplant. This is one of those moments where I need to Google if it's okay to eat that. If an eggplant skin is getting withered and wrinkly or if the fruit, yeah, eggplant skin fruit, is notably soft or squishy or it has soft spots anywhere, it's rotting. If the stem is burning or something. Okay, it's, it's rotting. It'd be ratatouille sands the... Eggplant. Don't come for me for my chopping skills. I'm not a trained chef and I'm not looking to be again, just a girl finding her way. So accept me as I am. So here is our vegetables. And now I'm gonna put the like sauce part in the bottom of the pan. So I'm just actually gonna use some canned marinara instead of like making the little sauce, which I usually do. I'm just gonna do this. This is the Mazetta's. I love this. I use it. I've talked about it on the blog before. I'm just gonna do a little bit of that in the bottom. The other thing is I don't, I don't measure anything or like really follow recipes very well. So I kind of just wing everything. You guys should know this about me. And so it's kind of sketchy, so. Attempt at your own risk. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Goodness. I am gonna put some onion and garlic in the bottom of the pan as well. <laughs> Everything is funny to me. So just a little bit of, I think this was a yellow onion. A yellow onion and a white onion are both white on the inside. And a red onion is still purple, if you know, you know. So this is actually a pretty easy meal to make, I think. I mean, like I said, the chopping is kind of laborious. I think it's the word. I'm just gonna put a bunch of garlic in here and then stir this all around. Obviously fresh garlic is better, but I am fresh out, so. Just make sure to fling your red sauce all over your kitchen and yourself for a true experience. And now we are going to get to organizing this. So you kind of just lay all the veggies down. We're just gonna start layering these things in. And I'm not even sure if I have enough to like fill this pan, but we're gonna hope for the best. Normally we would have the eggplant in here. You could probably do literally like any vegetable you want. You can keep the same pattern, you can't go random, which I'm clearly doing. I usually do this part with Clayton. We do it together and we have fun, but when he's not here, that's not possible. So we're just gonna do that to the whole row. Here's what it looks like, cutie. I'm gonna take a little bit of olive oil and drizzle that on top. And then I'm gonna take sea salt and I'm gonna 
take pepper. And then I'm gonna get some fresh thyme and rosemary out and I'm gonna put that on top. All right, I just sprinkled the fresh rosemary and then I actually just pulled some fresh thyme from a plant in our backyard and put a little extra seasoning on top. And now we're gonna pop this in the oven for, I don't know, maybe like an hour. I like when it gets like crispy on top. Now we're gonna make some homemade vegan ricotta cheese while that bakes. So how I make this is I soak cashews in water for at least one day, but these have honestly been soaking for a few days. And then, oh gosh. Got the food processor out. I'm just gonna pour these in. We're gonna take a lemon. I cut this lemon look all weird, so let's see if it's okay. Might need more lemon, but kind of like a half to a whole lemon, I'd say. And then I'm gonna put some oat milk in here. Again, I just eyeball all of this. That might have been too much. And I'm gonna put some olive oil. I'm actually gonna put some rosemary, some fresh rosemary in here. I think it's gonna be good. I usually put fresh basil, but I don't have any. And then I'm gonna put some salt. Some pepper. Ooh, that was my pepper on accident. I'm gonna do some of this. Since um, this is vegan cheese and we don't have fermenting animal stuff, it's not as tangy. So I do kind of a lot of salt. And I normally put some garlic in there too, fresh garlic. But again, since we don't have that handy, we'll use. Some of this kind. The kid is home. All right, and then we're just, this actually smells really amazing. We're gonna just pop the lid on here and pulse it on high for a while until this gets smooth. Also, I didn't mean pulse. I meant just literally put it on head. And then through, <laughs> throughout, I just take a like soft little spatula thing. I don't know what the proper name for this is. And push down the sides because that's where the chunks go. And then you literally just keep blasting it until it's like super smooth like ricotta cheese. And we're going to do a little taste test. Oops, I think I made it too salty. I'm going to like keep going. All right, so I added a little more milk and a little more lemon. Good, made it a little salty to me. But it will go good with the, with the ratatouille. Smooth enough. Honey, I'm home. Okay. Hit me. Hit me. The realest one out here. Here it comes. Just in time for the reveal. Oh, it looks so good, babe. Let it cool for a little bit. Absolutely nailed it. Oh, the eggplant was rotten, so I couldn't oh, use it. Oh, I love that. Yeah. You want rotten plant? Plant. Rotten plant? All right, time to eat dinner. I'm, I'm trying two techniques. Two what do you got? Two cleaning techniques. Okay. I already dipped something in there. That's why it's red. That's freaky. <laughs> First one. Ooh, you gotta do cheese on the bottom? Cheese on the bottom. Nice little. Look at that creamy. Layer. Creamy ricotta. And then I'm gonna come over here and try to get this out as gracefully as possible. Ah. Oh my god! Just kidding. Very, put very some nice. Parmesan cheese on top. It's a little saucy this time because I wanted to use all of the marinara that I had left, but. You know, It'll be good when it's all mixed with the cheese. We like a little sauce in this house. Yum. Okay, and now I just think, is this a superior technique? Yeah, I like technique? this. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to do it. That's the way to do it. Thank you, babe. Thanks for cooking. Looks so good. 